Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. Our starting pitcher in this one, Chris Flexen. How about a scouting report on him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Doyle makes the grab one away. Time now for the Chicago Cubs lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. That one is absolutely belted. That's going back. Back some more. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. Hits the fence. Row cut off, now to the plate. Not in time. He makes it safely for an inside the park home run. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Boog. Always fun to see an inside the parker. And man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting the second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's just great hustle from start to finish. Ian Happ up to hit. That one off the mark. And a count two and one. Part of the order coming through now. And with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Fly ball down the line. Tracks it down for the out. And there are two outs. Batting four. The first baseman, Cody Bellinger. Two outs, base is empty. So up now for Chicago, Cody Bellinger. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to first, and Bellinger is out. And that's the third out. One hit in the inning, a solo homer. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Cubs one and the Rockies nothing. Welcome back. And on the mound in this one, Javier Assad. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's Charlie Blackman. Designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Here's a 1-2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. and miss struck him out and now one away 
Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Into center. Crow Armstrong should have it. Two up, two down. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. And now it's even yeah. up. It's a good take. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 2-2. Two -two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two, two and a foul ball he stays alive the pitch foul ball another 2-2 two, two upcoming the pitch Slice the other way. That's a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, he really had to battle for that, that one. Man, that was so the fun catcher. to watch. Really good oh, swing yeah. right there. He got a pitch that he knew he yeah. could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now it's Elias Diaz. That's in there. That's strike two. Here comes a pitch. Tipped into the mid strike three. I think the. All set for the start of the inning. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. Seiya Suzuki. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. And the pitch. That one missed. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent as you mentioned, and maybe a little generous on the edges. Two two now. Lifted in the air, out to left. Jones makes the catch, and there's one gone. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Dansby Swanson's turned into one of the best defensive shortstops in baseball, Chris. And a lot of the help came from Ron Washington, but Dansby put in the work. One ball, two straight. One down, base is empty. Ball. And the one-two misses to even the count. 
Dansby Swanson, after all of that hard work defensively, won himself the gold glove in 2022. Righty delivers. Struck him out looking. Here's Jan Gomes. Jan Gomes. Jan Gomes waits. Here's a 2 2. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And there's ball nope. four. Ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Digging in, Pete Crow Armstrong. Gomes, the runner at first with two gone. And down on strikes. That's the third out. No runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Cubs one and the Rockies nothing. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. Now here's Nolan Jones. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. One ball. Swing and a miss. Two One and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. That Ball misses. Two balls, two strikes. Stays alive. Kicks and fires. There's a swing and a drive. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. The 1-1. One -one. And fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Runner at second. Nobody out. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he went around. Rule the swing. And now here is Elauris Montero. First baseman, Elauris Montero. There's the swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Fights it off, you'll see another. One out and a runner at second. Swing and a miss, and he got him. 
Back to back strikeouts. So back to back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non issue. And now, Hunter Goodman. That's hard hit on the line. Crow Armstrong makes the catch inning over. The Rockies strand one, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at Coors Field, down the third baseman, the Nick third baseman. Madrigal. Nick Madrigal. And a pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. There's one to first. Double play. Nicely done. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play. And then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Here's Nico Horner. He's already homered here in this one. Bounced out to short. Whips it to first on the run. That ends the frame. Back here in Denver, and stepping in is the speedy Brenton Doyle. Goes down looking. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the out. Now it's Charlie Blackman. He's over one. The 1 1 is fouled off. And a pitch. Hard hit, right side. Bellinger takes it to the bag, and that quickly two away. Up next for Colorado, that's your stop. Ezekiel. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Flied out to center in his first at bat. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's a fair ball. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw to second is offline. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Man at second here with two away. And here is Ryan McMahon. And he's already singled in this game. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count. And clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Next one Whoa, just misses. And the count's even at two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and deals. Got him swinging for the K. Pulled the string of the changeup. So one hit is all they get. On to inning number four. It's the Cubs one and the Rockies nothing.
and welcome back. And now Ian Hat. Ian Hat. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. You know, these Cubs doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. One down, here comes Cody Bellinger. 0 for 1 so far. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Runner on at first with one gone. Now it's the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. The 2-1. There's a strike. Bellinger goes. Bounce to third. Gathers and throws to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Dansby Swanson stands in. He was a strikeout victim his first time. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Out towards left center. Tovar settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the inning. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Cubs one and the Rockies nothing. Welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Elias Diaz. Elias. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. The why to kick the pitch on the ground to third, and it stays fair, and that rolls into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Really nice job of two strike hitting and that on ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Now the left fielder, Nolan Jones, doubled his first time up. Swing and a pop-up. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but no competitor like him, seven. he is looking Second forward to making up for it in his next at-bat. Diaz, the runner at second with one away. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And the righty deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next one misses. The count now two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. hit into the outfield they won't risk the send runners at the corners now with one away a perfect example right there that plate discipline it pays off the deeper he gets into a count the more comfortable he becomes and he usually wins the battle and now the first baseman and Lowry's Montero and he deals and a swing and a miss. So all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The one, two. And a swing and a miss. Two gone now. 
Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the... Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. Two left for Colorado. They still trail one nothing. New inning getting started. Now it's Jan Gomes. One one now. Slice down the right side. And a ball and two strikes. Now this is in the air down the line. Goodman pulls it down. And there's one away. The center fielder, number 12. Pete's. Pete Crow Armstrong now at the plate. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Nick. Here's Nick Madrigal. One for one with a single so far. Ball to strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Hit hard. Base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. You often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. Squared it up with the well-timed swing and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Now it'll be the Cubs DH. Number 40. The 2-1. Ground ball right side could be two. Fires to second for one. Ow! The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam and they end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning. So in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. One and two here. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Diving, makes the grab. You love to see when a guy's hungry to make a play right there. An excellent diving catch. You could absolutely tell he was all in and tracking that ball down. So the batting order turns over. Next for Colorado, Charlie Blackman. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, two straight. Line drive, caught! Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ezekiel Tovar. Here's a 2-1. Tapped at the play, but it's a foul ball. 
With two out and nobody on, you want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. 2-2 two -two now. Popped in the air. Left field. Hap moving under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Rockies are down quietly. They're down one nothing. Brent Suter on a pitch out of the pen here. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Well, one run game. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. He's already homered in this game. 3-2. Swings here and blasts one left field. And that one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Ian Happ, the next Cub to hit. A switch hitter batting right. The 2-1. Lifted in the air, right center field. Goodman under it. One down. Up next for the Cubs, the first baseman, Cody Bellinger. Bellinger up to hit. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. And there's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone along. Looks like they want to set up the double play. Intentional walk will make it first. We're gone. The right fielder. Say, uh, so one out with two aboard. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. The lefty ready and a 1-1. One -one. Line drive, base hit, headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark and he scores. It's 2-0. Well done, drives in the run. I could watch base hits like that one all day long and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Dansby Swanson, the next Cub to hit. Pitch misses. Two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Bellinger at third. Suzuki at first. One gone. Double play ball to second. Steps on the back for one. And that's two. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Number 48. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. One for two. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. All these Rockies really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Ground ball up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Throw not in time, and he's safe. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw. But very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Next to hit for the Rockies, Elias Diaz. 
ripped to the right center. Should be extra bases. Around second is McMahon. Coming home. He'll score easily. And they trail by one. And that we go back to later on when this game is over. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. On the ground right side. Tosses to first. One away. Bottom of the sixth. The batter, number seven. Second baseman. So up next, Brendan Rodgers. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Hard hit left side. Swanson. Jump throw. Out number two and another run comes in. So in now for Colorado, Elauri's Montero, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Liner, base hit. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Hunter Goodman digging in for the Rockies. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And a one two. Foul tip, but he hangs on for strike three. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. We're through six full. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Cook. And here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a One miss. Ball. One two and two. Out to short. Tobar. Throws across oh. the diamond. And Gomes is retired. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Now Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Pete Crow and now the center fielder. Pete Crow Armstrong. Well struck right field. And it one hops the wall. Around second now, going for three. Relay throw to third. In there safely. Well, most guys would have a double out of that, but for elite speed like his, that's an automatic double. He's thinking, how do I turn this into a triple? And that's exactly how you do it. One down. And next for the Cubs, Nick Madrigal. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. And a pitch. This one blasted. Left center field on its way. And that one is out of here. That should fire up the dugout. And they jump out front. It's 4-2. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And here's the DH for the Cubs, number 40. 
the 1-1. One -one. And that one wrapped foul. The one two. This to center field. Doyle gliding in towards the infield. Makes the grab on the run. Out number two. Second baseman. Nico Horner. Two outs, bases empty. And up next for Chicago, Nico Horner. Good contact guy, good defender. The one one. And right back to the mound. Gets it to first. And that will end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run homer. It's now 4 2. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. New pitcher on now, Jose Quas. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Makes the catch. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about now the bad. process. He did so everything right right it. there. Nothing to show Don't for leave. it. But in your mind, what you have friend. to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. The pitch. And that one pulled foul. Fouls it off, still one and two. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Next to hit, Ezekiel Tovar. One for three. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Off the mark oh, there. Guy. It's 2-2. Two and two. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. On the ground to the left. Madrigal on to first. And that is the third out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail it here, four to two. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 56. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So up now for Chicago, Ian Happ. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. The wind of the pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Ian Happ bops one out of here. And they boost their lead. It's 5-2. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger.
swing and a line drive base hit out of the center field. Now that right field say uh, Suzuki. And now here is Seiya Suzuki. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. And now the lefty out there to center. And it falls. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And here is Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks, Vanderbilt player in college, College World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. Oh, he gloves it. Sweet grab right there. That's the DRS for you, buddy. Defensive run save. Very athletic. Really good reactions. Nice job of saving that run. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. At the belt and fires. Foul ball. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So first and second with two outs. Pete Crow Armstrong, the next Cub to hit. Swing at a high fly ball left field. Jones has this one sized up and makes the play, and that's out number three. Cubs get one on the solo shot. It's now 5-2. You're watching Cubs baseball on the show Chicago. Now on the bump, Julian Merriweather. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because of... Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there on its way. Gone. Ryan McMahon leaves the yard, and they're chipping away. It's 5-3. Just relentless. This team will not quit. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Rockies, Elias Diaz. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. The one-two. And nope. there's a the ball. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Two-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Struck him out swinging. Had him out front for strike three. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Next for Colorado, Nolan Jones. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. 
And he's there at third with a triple. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. The tying run at the plate. Comes up empty. That's strike two. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The one-two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Huge strike out there. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. But Black bringing on a pinch hitter. Harold Castro. Big spot for him here. Slapped foul. And now two and two. That one to first. Takes it himself. They limit the damage here. Rockies edging closer with this shot. It's now 5-3. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Staying in the game on defense, Harold Castro. He pinch hit last half and now takes over at first. Gavin Hollowell comes on now. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Now at the plate, Nick Madrigal. He delivered in a big way back of the seventh, Singy. Absolutely, a two-run shot that really looms pretty large in this game right now. And a 1-1. And misses inside. Right-hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss there. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Two and two. And that one is lifted in the air. Jones brings it in. One up, one down. Now batting. Number 40. Now it's the DH. Number 40. Is a 1 1. And a foul ball. Here's a 1 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away down. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So digging in, Nico Horner. Two two now. In the dirt, Diaz gets it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Eight nine one due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Cubs five and the Rockies three. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Mark Leiter Jr. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at-bats they can, so it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off.
That one just misses. Got him swinging. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. And here it comes. And it's fouled away. The pitch. The other way. Nice grab. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. So the lineup flips over. Next for the Rockies is the DH, Charlie Blackman. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And off the base of the wall. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Now the number two hitter, Ezekiel Tovar. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Nothing but curveball so far in the at-bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. A 5-3 final score in this one. The Cubs go home a winner. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.